This video is a full demonstration of the standard excess correlation procedure. Neuroimaging has revealed that brains of individuals who participate in this procedure become functionally interconnected. If you're interested in these previous applications, refer to the published data which can be found on the website. By the end of this video, you'll know how to test the equipment, set up participants, initiate the field sequence, and switch field patterns. The whole procedure, after testing equipment, lasts 18 minutes. Please see the videos on how to build and connect the equipment before proceeding in order to familiarize yourself with the components. We start with the circuit and the coil, which should already be connected. The next procedure, before we get started, is to test the equipment to ensure that the patterns sent from the microcontroller are in fact being represented at the level of the coil. In order to test this, you'll need a small audio amplifier, which is labeled here as B, as well as a telephone pickup device, which is labeled here as A. Any alternative device which converts electromagnetic signals into audio signals will do. To show the concept, here's how you might measure the electromagnetic fields associated with a cell phone. Pointing the device toward the amplifier will generate feedback. Because the electromagnetic fields that we'll be generating are very weak, we'll need to amplify this circuit in order to test the equipment. This is a 9 volt, 800 milliamp wall adapter which has been modified. It will be removed once the testing has been completed. As you can see, we've modified the adapter such that the two wires which normally run together, ending in a single connection, now end in a positive and negative lead. These leads have been spliced with jumper cables and are inserted into pins on the corresponding rails of the breadboard. This will amplify the signal. Now we can take the amplifier and the telephone pickup device, adjust the volume, and we should be able to hear the electromagnetic field After removing the wall adapter, we are now set to start the procedure. A clear shower cap can be used to position the coil over the participant's head as they sit comfortably in a quiet space. The second participant will be sat with the same equipment in an alternative space. The current flow will generate a counterclockwise rotating electromagnetic field. This requires that the lead which is on the left of the participant from this perspective be positioned in the pin between the diode and the voltage regulator on the breadboard. Having synchronized your stopwatches, both experimenters or facilitators will initiate the first field simultaneously. Open the Arduino software, proceed to open the primer and effector files, and position them on your screen for easy access. Initiate the procedure by uploading the primer pattern. This is the primer sequence of the procedure. You can think of it as a way to set up the right conditions for interconnectedness between the paired brains. The participant should remain relaxed with their eyes closed. 
This sequence will last until six minutes have elapsed. At this point, upload the effector field. You can confirm a successful upload by observing the LED. It will stop blinking for a moment and resume when the new pattern is uploaded. This sequence of the procedure will last 12 minutes. Experiments have shown that during the effector sequence, paired brains demonstrate levels of interconnectedness which are not present under normal conditions. There is evidence to suggest that audio signals can be transferred between paired brains during this procedure. That is, one person hears a sound, and the other, in an isolated and quiet room, will display brainwave patterns consistent with the stimulation. If people can share experiences using this technology, it will likely be during this sequence. Once 18 minutes have elapsed, unplug the USB cord which connects the laptop and the microcontroller. The procedure is complete, and the coils can be removed.